he thinks for a split second they got me. And he shoots one time. He said, did I shoot you? Did I shoot you? She said, I don't know. She pulled up her shirt and he saw the hole. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. Favorite color was pink. And the color I'm going to use today kind of matched my outfit. The sixth grader was dressed to impress for her first day at Knox Doss Middle School, just outside of Nashville. White side, she comes from the side and says, Wah! like that. Trying to scare him. Well, she grabs and he thinks it's an intruder. Right. He thinks for a split second they got me. And he shoots one time. The frantic father grabbed his daughter and rushed her to a nearby hospital. But two hours later, the bright and beautiful 11-year-old was dead. Now, he initially said that she was shot when she arrived home. He told the police officer the same thing, that she was holding her chest and she was bleeding from her chest when she came into the house. She was screaming. And of course, that was a total fabrication. He doesn't know if she's going to need blood. He doesn't know if she's going to need an organ. But he knows whatever she needs, he's going to be there for her. But he lied to police. Well, that's the only way he could stay. A lot of his supporters got together and uh, people uh, pooled their money. The father of four made bail and was out in time to attend Tamiya's funeral. But his freedom didn't last long. She was like, Daddy, Daddy, just tell me this is a dream. Daddy, tell me it's a dream. And then I was like, you know, I just kept on telling her, I'm sorry to me, I'm sorry. And then she was like, I know it. She was like, I know it. Uh, he did uh, fight for custody, uh, and he did have custody of Tamia and uh, her uh, brothers and sisters. But uh, he also had another side as well, and uh, that side was a, a dark side. He came home, and he was walking around uh, in the house with a cell phone up to his left ear and a loaded gun. And the gun was loaded with 22 rounds of ammunition. Uh, once looking over his shoulder, it's almost like he was expecting somebody to be following Come and get him. Coming to get him inside the home. Cousin had been drinking and he did not want to leave in his car with a gun. So he asked Timothy if he mind keeping the gun or could he leave it at the house. But he knew he wasn't supposed to have a pistol with him. Well, he wasn't supposed to have a pistol. Right, but he did. But this was just a circumstance. This wasn't an ordinary thing. This isn't something that happens all the time. It is totally irrelevant. These are all factors that would show that Mr. Batts was distracted to the point that he shot his, his daughter uh, recklessly. At the edge of the door, she jumped out from the side of the wall and say, wow, 
And you know, as just to scare me, and the gun was in my hand, and it just went off. And... Well, bye YouTube. Hope you love my video.